morning and welcome to the Salt TV Morning Show. I'm Courtney. And I'm also Courtney. <laughs> and thanks for joining us, whether you're on Facebook Live or joining us through the GoToMeeting client. We're excited to have you guys here today. Um, today is actually part one of a two-part series, and so we're going to kick mm -hmm. it off by talking a little bit about um, with spring starting to really um, kind of come to a, almost a close, but still in its peak season, and then summer on the um, just on the brink of really getting started, we wanted to talk a little bit about sales opportunities and trends that we're seeing for this time of year mm -hmm. um, to help you really kind of expand your sales. And so this week, we're going to talk a little bit about um, some of the markets of opportunity. We're going to share some different tips on different trends, ways to reach them. We're going to show you some different ways you can do that um, as far as products are related or how you can um, kind of show your customers what you can do and what's trending. And then next week, we're going to share some different popular blanks that we have from blanks of so a few yeah. exciting episodes we have planned here today yeah. and next week. Yeah, I always love the trend episodes that we get to do once a year. Um, but first, today let's start with Look of the Week. So this week's Look of the Week is submitted to us by Kristen uh, of Half Pint Cuties, an Etsy-based shop. I absolutely love this look because it's completely customized from top to bottom. You have customization in this um, newborn pillow. So it features the um, pounds of the baby, how long they were, full name, birthday, the whole nine. And it features two really great products. So we have um, a pastel uh, fashion film here and then uh, CAD cut patterns in the middle. Yeah, I love a good newborn pillow, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but the one, one of the big thing about this that I loved was, and we'll talk about it in the trends episode today, but it's pairing together a pattern, a really unique pattern with a pastel color. And so it's taking just the, um, the most important part of the design they really wanted to focus on was the first name of the child, and mm -hmm. they decided to bring that out with a pattern and then complemented it with a solid. And we're seeing that so much with design and logos in the retail market and even just logos in general on websites and graphic design. We're we're seeing so many people pairing patterns with a complementing mm -hmm. color that's in a solid, so it's a great design there. Yeah, and if you have maybe a pattern in mind, even taking out a color that's in within that pattern and placing it outside of the design, uh, we want to thank you for submitting your look of the week every week so you can submit your look and be featured on the show by emailing us tv at stalls.com on Facebook using a Stalls TV show and tell, which is every Saturday, or by tagging us or using the hashtag at Stalls TV or hashtag Stalls TV, and we'll look at your look of the weeks there. Yeah, we love seeing those for sure. Um, so that's look of the week, and then we always like to kick off our episode um, with a Make It Monday. And so we thought this week there's nothing better we could have possibly printed than something for spring and summer. And so footwear, which we've showed you guys to cut how to customize that quite a bit with cleats and um, canvas shoes and the mm -hmm. Tom style shoes, but we haven't really dove in much to sandals, which we get a lot of questions on from decorators. And so we've showed sometimes the sandals that have a little bit of a cloth on them. But what's really trending right now, especially for personalization and monogramming, are those faux leather sandals. Um, yeah. And so we have a video that we're actually going to show you for today's Make It Monday that will show you how to customize those sandals there. So we'll go ahead and roll that video now. With a vinyl cutter, a Hotronics heat press, and Stahl's CAD Cut heat transfer vinyl, you could create monograms and other personalized designs on practically anything. In this video, we're going to show you how to decorate a sandal from Wholesale Boutique, Stahl's fashion film with under 10 square inches of material. Let's get started loading our sandal on the heat press. So as you can see here, we swapped out the standard 16 by 20 uh, platen with the shoe platen. So we'll just place our sandal here, grab our transfer, place, and we're going to cover with a flexible application pad. We're using this flexible application pad because of the heat sensitivity of the leather on the sandal. We've increased our press time to about 25 seconds to accommodate for that. Remove our pad, remove the mylar, we have our finished sandal. 
If this tutorial seemed quick, it's because it is. It's really that simple. The beauty of it is, for less than a nickel, we just personalize this sandal. To begin creating monograms and decorating items such as these, click the link below. Thanks to Mike for creating that video for us and sharing um, some different ways that you can personalize sandals. As you could see with that shoe platen and a flexible application pad, it was really easy to decorate not only those sandals, but anything faux leather using those same principles that he um, used in that video. So yeah. bags are also a possibility with this. Um, and if you haven't seen um, our Craft Corner videos on Stalls TV, also decorated those same pair of sandals. And because those sandals, um, which are from Wholesale Boutique, um, so wholesaleboutique.com was where those were ordered from. But the great thing is that they're, they're very um, blank and open on the top, so there's not a lot of things that got into the way. So with the Craft Corner, we did a spring break video personalizing those, um, and we actually used our 16 by 20 flat, and so just kind of holding them on the edge there and holding it down. Of course, if you're doing fast production, that shoe platen makes it really nice because you can kind of load them both on there and not have to hold them in place, but yeah, I easy way to do it. I absolutely love that idea, um, using the shoes kind of as an add-on sale, um, and in that video as well, she did heat print a beach towel. So. It was for spring break, but I think taking a lot of these add-on sales and bringing them into the summer months with sandals, totes, shoes, all of that, um, it's just a great way to have some add-on sales for your decorated apparel business. Yeah, so that kind of segues well into spring and summer and some of the yeah. trends and opportunities that we're seeing that we wanted to share with you guys today on the uh, morning show. Yeah, so the general look of spring and summer uh, trends, trends more towards maybe light, flowy, airy, and very breathable garments. So um, in spring, the mornings and the nights are still a little bit chilly. So there's definitely an outerwear component that goes into this, which just gives us more opportunities to decorate apparel. Um, but that breathable kind of tanks and um, other items like that is really what we're looking for. Um, but we're going to talk a lot about blanks and garments in next week's morning show, like we mentioned earlier. But today we're going to focus really on um, heat transfer vinyl, the markets you can sell to, uh, different opportunities in your business for the spring season and summer season moving forward. So just being able to get yourself ready for the next season with whatever's prepared. Yeah, so there's lots of markets and so we're coming towards a close almost on the spring market, um, but still being able to capitalize on some of the sales for a lot of them. So mm -hmm. um, one of those sales that I see a lot of is, um, and of course the sports realm, which we yeah. do a lot with in heat printing because heat printing tends to be the best technology or one of the top technologies for decorating for team sports. So um, still some spring sports as far as fan apparel or warm ups are involved with um, lacrosse, uh, baseball, Little League, all of that kind of coming on. And I think there's a big opportunity still with the summer with Little League being able to decorate mm -hmm. tournament shirts or um, cut personalized apparel for fan wear. Um, we see the trend continuing to increase. Um, we not know it well in the heat printing industry, but personalization in the athletic realm and continuing that through to fan wear and all of that as well. That's, all, that's getting to be huge. I mean, people want everything personalized. It's getting more popular in the... Um, the large, the large leagues as far as the NFL, the NHL, and so they're seeing that there and they want that in their little league world as well. And so there's a they great do. opportunity with personalizing even at some of these sporting events, whether it's little league or uh, walks and runs or another big one right. as well. Yeah, last week on the morning show, we showed you guys the Project Press It box, which had um, the third box was uh, walks, runs, 5K events, all of that. So the big part of that box was teaching decorators how to decorate on site at event printing using screen printed transfers and a portable heat press like the Hotronics that we have. So if you have a power outlet and um, events near you, I mean, we had three or four this last weekend in our area. Yeah, we are in the heart of 5K's marathon season kicking off right now. Yeah, and you're not too late to jump on that boat um, because you can order transfers from Transfer Express and get them fairly quickly to, to personalize at the events. Minimal waste. Um, you can do add-on sales using those same transfers. So 5K walks, runs, events, definitely still in the market for spring. So keep an eye out for those. As far as summer, what do we have to look forward to? You know, summer has actually a huge amount of sales opportunities, and we're going to touch on a few of them here in the morning show um, this morning. But of course, towards the end of the month, 
Um, there is a live class on May 24th that will be broadcast here on Facebook Live as well as um, through GoToWebinar if you don't have a Facebook account. And so you can join us there for a live class talking about 10 summer opportunities, but the markets are, um, there are just many of them. So we've mm -hmm. got um, obviously sports, so we've got still your little leagues, we've got your 5Ks, we still have um, once July hits or end of June, start of July, we start to see a lot of preparation for fall sports. And so we yeah. tend to, I tend to group those into summer sales because if right. you don't start that in that early summer months and start really now thinking about that, you miss out on those sales. And they're doing the warm ups too in, in the late spring, early summer too. Yeah, so. camps are another big thing for them as well. Yeah. Um, so those are big opportunities, summer camps, summer resorts, uh, vacations, family mm -hmm. reunions. I mean, it just feels like I can go on and on about <laughs> summer opportunities, um, but when I think about how do we reach them, obviously the, the opportunity is there. You can sell to these people, but yeah. if you want to really stand out and kind of compete with maybe another online company or another decorator, then I think we have to think about how to stay on trend or how to choose designs or garments or elements that really stand out for these customers. Definitely. Um, just piggybacking off of the events, um, I personally, in the summer months, start to do the, the running and the biking. So being able to go into that more athletic market and even the fashion athleisure side of it is another selling opportunity. But as far as staying ahead of trends, um, we want to look at what we're doing with our colors, choices of heat transfer vinyl, which is um, the first element that we're going to start on today. So let's jump into that. <laughs> yeah, so colors, um, being able to choose a color that kind of fits in with the market that you're selling to. But every year, the um, the colors change what's popular. We get pastels, we get mm -hmm. bright colors. Spring tends to lean towards more of the pastels. We see a lot of that. And then as summer starts to move on, we see more fluorescence, bold, bright shades. And so um, the Pantone colors that were recently launched, we can show you guys those now um, for 2017 for the spring. So this kind of mm -hmm. puts together spring and summer as far as colors go. Yeah, so Pantone releases these colorways um, twice a year. You're able to go on their website and see what's popular. Um, the Pantone colorways are really what sets the trend for the decorated apparel industry, whether you're using this for your blank garments. Um, we obviously last morning show showed you the bright blue 5K walks runs, and you can see those brighter colors in the bottom there. Or you can use these for the heat transfer vinyl side of things. So um, obviously on the top, the more pastel, the bottom, the bold. So being able to look at this twice a year you're getting um, maybe free advice on what to do with your apparel business. Yeah, so these colors are great to work into either your ink colors for screen printing, um, maybe mm -hmm. your thread color from embroidery, or your heat transfer vinyl as well. And yeah. so for me, I'm looking at those colors and I may be decorating for summer, maybe some cheer designs for a cheer camp, or maybe mm -hmm. a walk or a run, and I'm thinking, okay, I want to pick bold colors like that. Um, bold blue and maybe a, a lime green or maybe that bright pink for cheerleading right. and pair it together with something else but being able to look at those and show what's trending in, in the retail side as well. Yeah, I actually spent a few um, minutes last week just looking at the pan cone colors and then looking at fashion film which has a really wide variety of color choices and I was able to match uh, pretty closely those two so even just looking at our fashion film line if you do vinyl cut in house is a good idea. Yeah, it's a great point as well. There's a lot of colors in fashion film, so that's helpful. Um, mm -hmm. Glitter Flick's another big one because we have yeah. fluorescent colors, kind of like the fluorescent pink um, over there behind you that works for being able to get those bold glitter colors for summertime as well. Yeah, special effects are always fun. Yeah, <laughs> great. So that's some, some things about colors, but um, in our research for, you know, just looking at trends, which we're constantly doing um, for Stalls TV, is we found that patterns is probably one of the most popular trends this year and spring in general. So being able to, um, like we saw in the look of the week from Kristen, being able to take the pattern and pair it together with your design to really just take it to a new level. Um, right. And so we've showed them a little bit on the Stalls TV Morning Show before, but um, Stalls recently launched a CAD Cut Patterns line, which is great for anybody who has a vinyl cutter to be mm -hmm. able to cut custom patterns. Um, and I'll go over to the screen just to show you guys the tool. It's different than any other pattern tool that's on the market because instead of saying um, this is the most popular chevron, it's orange, it's white, here's the color we have available, we can now take our business to another level by offering our customers those trendy colors that are on trend, um, maybe from the Pantone colors, something that's a little bit more popular, maybe it's completely custom to the school that you're decorating for. I mean, there's a lot of big opportunity with this pattern generator. Um, and so looking at it, I'm um, just going to scroll down here. I'm on a Chevron pattern now, but you can see there's a ton of patterns 
that are available. So there's a camo, some bohemian, um, some animal prints, floral prints, paisleys. Um, there's just a ton that are available with this. So I can select any of these that I like the pattern design of. And so I really like the scallops here, that kind of mermaid trend tends to be popular. I think we just talked this morning about Starbucks launching a mermaid frappuccino. <laughs> and so mermaid, especially if you're doing children's apparel um, or even anything that's really trendy for even junior's apparel, this kind of scallops mermaid style pattern is really popular. So once I find a pattern that I like, I'll go ahead and select my colors for step two. So I'm starting with an aqua and a charcoal color here. You'll also even see that we give some recommendations for popular colors. Um, so if you see something that you like there, that's kind of what is most popular for these styleways. I'm going to choose a few different colors and you'll notice that there's a ton of colors that are available. So it really opens you up to customizing this for a lot of different markets. And so um, we know that some of these pastel shades, maybe mints, peaches, yellows, light pinks, those are really popular for a children's apparel market or some of these more trendy um, juniors markets. And so I'm going to choose the sunset peach color and I'm going to pair it with a mint. Um, you will also notice some of the really bold colors that we had talked about, Courtney. So the Greek pink, the super blue, electric blue, mm -hmm. voltage green over here um, is also another really popular color from some of the Nike colorways that we've seen recently. Coral, again, another really popular color. All of those are available. Um, and so I can create the scallops to be my custom design here on what's available and create something really unique and then I can go ahead and purchase them and whatever roll length works for my ordering. So I'll go over to roll length, you'll see I can order a yard, I can order 10 yards um, and all of that as well and of course it allows you to purchase the mask that's needed for the CAD cut patterns to finish your design. But a really cool tool to use as patterns are becoming more popular within the different markets. Yeah, and I really like the idea of maybe utilizing a single pattern with multiple colorways. So maybe stocking this mermaid kind of trendy scallop look in your shop, but instead of waiting for your customer to ask what you know they need, maybe stocking your shop with these more popular colors, these Pantone colors, and kind of guessing what they're going to need and um, being able to have that in stock in your house for whatever apparel decoration you're doing. Yeah, and really being a trend leader and saying, you know, I can now offer your personalization in these colors, you know. Mm -hmm. It's what's popular in the retail sector. It's not just white and black and red, but really ordering yeah. even just a yard to have on hand of some of these really popular patterns and colors so you can say, you know, I'm going to show you what's the, the latest and the greatest and most trendy um, design for your garment. Yeah, anticipating needs as well as anticipating trends in that case. Yeah, so one other thing I want to show about the um, pattern design that's really cool is um, when we talk about the Pantone colors, we talk about specialty colors. If I go back over to the select a pattern, you'll notice that there's actually a solid option. And so as you're looking at a pattern generator, you're probably thinking, why would I have a solid option, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a pattern is the point of it. But the cool thing is, is you just saw a ton of really unique, trendy colors as we were selecting colors for my pattern. And so I can go ahead back through and grab a mint and now I can order a, a yard or 10 yards of a mint heat transfer vinyl or a coral color or maybe that really cool voltage green. Um, and these are just some of the most popular shades, but now I can do cut graphics even in this solid um, image or maybe that wasn't possible before in the color that I was looking for. And you know, that color digital pattern is mm -hmm. always being updated as we see some new trends and popular colors and things. So it's a great way to stay on trend. Yeah, definitely. Even using this for the um, sports market, being able to choose something that's a little bit closer to your team's colors if that heat transfer vinyl isn't available to you. And again, just having these at stock in your shop, um, being able to just grab a roll of mint, I think is very useful um, and you can obviously anticipate that for the spring season since we do see a whole lot of mints, a whole lot of those yeah. pastel pinks and then obviously summer we showed some of those colors as well. Yeah, both are still very popular, that's for sure. Um, right. So that kind of covers patterns and a little bit of that and so it works really well if you have a heat transfer, um, a, a vinyl cutter and a need for heat transfer vinyl mm -hmm. but if you just have a heat press, um, being able to reach some of these trends, whether it's with patterns or pastels or unique colors. I want to show you um, some other tools within the Easy View Designer. If you haven't seen or leveraged the Easy View Designer, this one is from Transfer Express. So it works with our screen printed transfers. Um, and so you can go through tons of templates and clip arts. And we show this a lot um, for Stalls TV because it's an incredibly powerful to tool for designs. Um, and so I'm just going to open up the library here. 
to look at some different things that are available. And what I want to do is I want to customize and personalize my designs. And there are, I mean, thousands upon thousands of designs within this designer. They're constantly updating it with new artwork, on-trend artwork um, that's going to reach new markets. And we think about reaching, um, whether it's family reunions or schools or sports teams, we always want trendy artwork. And so being able to use a tool like this where they're constantly creating templates that are new mm -hmm. and that are on trend is really important. Yeah, you um, don't have to have a designer on hand or a graphic designer in your shop, and you yourself don't have to be a graphic designer. It's just so easy to create from these templates. Yeah, it kind of saves you from having to create those designs yourself or come up with those ideas. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and select a design here. Let me go ahead and see if my internet's working correctly. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to select my design here, um, and then this artwork is just really popular. I mean, if I was decorating for a cheer squad, you'll see a lot of these monograms for maybe um, Central High School or different schools using this monogram style. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colorways of my entire design, so I'll just select the whole thing here, make it a little bit brighter and more vibrant than this black color so we can see something that's a little bit more trendy. Um, we talked a little bit about some of the bright green, so I'll go ahead and select maybe a neon green. For this to go with something that's, again, going to be trendier for summer, more brighter shades. Just change the background so you guys can see some of this color a little bit better. Um, so I've got a neon green here to start, and then I want to take this solid element and I want to add a pattern to it to really mm -hmm. um, take it to a new level or just add a different design element to it. And so to do this, um, this piece of artwork, you can see it's reading those triangles along with my circle, and I just want to make this circle the pattern, so I'm going to ungroup that and grab my little circle part here, there we go. And then over here on the left hand side, the same place that I was able to change colors or swap any of the artwork out of my design, I can add some effects or patterns or even distress it. So I'm going to add a pattern here. And then just like we had seen with the patterns throughout um, some of the other templates on the CAD Cut Designer, I can see a tie-dye, I can see animal patterns, paw prints. Um, skulls, hearts, shamrocks, all kinds of different things, chevron, soccer balls, so even some great stuff for even if you're looking for just maybe a soccer um, pattern there. I like these Aztec tribal patterns. I think they're mm -hmm. still really on trend, very unique. A plaid pattern, which I still think is good for fall, so we'll hold off on that one just now. Yeah, these tribal patterns, we see them a lot in um, festivals and outdoor events, so being able to decorate for those, especially in the summer months where there's a bunch of events outside, I think is important. Yeah, absolutely. And so I can go ahead and start changing out some of the colors throughout this design to match what I want my design to look like. And so if I want to make um, that neon lime color throughout a little bit more, maybe to just make one less color for my design, I can change out and make some brighter shades. So um, this one's using a red. I may want to go with a neon pink. I may want to go with a neon orange just to get some really bright, vibrant shades throughout there. And then I'll make sure I have a neon blue here. So just going through and just changing out those colors till I like the way it looks. Uh, once I have that done, then I can go ahead and send this through to Transfer Express to order my screen printed transfers. But a lot of really great ways to use this to get same same thing, bright colors mm -hmm. or pastels or patterns and all of that throughout your designs. Yeah, so once you have that design completely made, and I really like the frame of it, it looks like a little sun, but once you have that made, you can um, go ahead and size it on the, the template that they give you and you're able to print multiple ones on a single gang sheet, cut those apart once you get them at home. So being able to have multiple designs um, using the same transfer sheet. Yeah, and so um, one other really popular trend, we actually shared it earlier this year, so if you followed the Sauls TV Morning Show through multiple episodes, we talked about typography change, uh, trends and using mm -hmm. words within larger graphics to uh, make a design, to really take text and make it into an artwork piece. Um, and so we see that a lot with a lot of the templates that are available. And mm -hmm. so when I talk some about summer markets, I want to showcase another design style. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this out here. And just go ahead and look at some of the new um, items. Just as if you're not familiar with this Easy View design, you're going to notice there's a ton of different markets here. You can just browse through. I always say I look for sales opportunities by browsing <laughs> through the templates that they have available. I mean, look at these occasions, family reunions, events, elections, clubs, holidays, all kinds of stuff going on through there. Um, I'm just going to start at the basic and look at a few different design templates that are relatively new for 2017 and really meet that typography trend. Um, and so one here is going to be for family reunions. You'll notice how the text 
creates an image. If I scroll down a little bit, there's a few other options, even for sports. So as I'm thinking about football season, mm -hmm. again, that helmet is created with text on the inside. So it takes all these words that maybe emulate teamwork and put them together into a football helmet. Um, so I'm going to go up and grab that family reunion one. And if I'm looking, if I want to sell to family reunions, and maybe there's other screen printers or other people in the industry that do that, you've probably seen the family reunion shirt that maybe has a tree. That may be the one they had last year. So this mm -hmm. gives you a way to take a design that's completely new and completely fresh and really trendy and say, mm -hmm. I can do family reunion shirts too, but I can do something a little bit more unique, a little more on trend. Yeah, and even just having that heart as the O is just a little bit an extra way that they can personalize and upgrade this design. Um, and and having it's almost like clip art within the design as well as those names and it's just I think very cool so we can customize in in a lot of ways there. yeah I mean you can go ahead and customize these templates in any way just double click the text change out the Compton to whatever family reunion you're creating for so we're gonna um, create it for the Kaczynski's for their family reunion in 2017 I can change the text font by going over to the left hand side of my screen if I wanted something that was maybe a bit more emboldened or unique print. I can go ahead and change all of that out incredibly easy. Same thing with the colors like you had seen um, with the other template designer as well. So just a lot of ways to really take the trends that we're seeing and start to sell in some of these summer opportunities. Yeah, so in addition to um, those looks that we just showed you, another trend in 2017 in the spring and summer months are um, staying with the more minimal designs. So really when we think about a design, we think we have to be very creative, um, have a lot of maybe clip art or uh, text in there, but maybe just single lines, single text. Um, I know that the skinny texts are very popular right now as well. And in the retail market, I'm seeing a lot of maybe small left chest logos. So I've seen um, cactus trees, I've seen palm trees, I've seen um, seashells, just a teeny tiny left chest logo or um, a one word clip art on the side. So like coffee is really popular too. So staying with that minimalist trend if you are going more toward the retail looks. Um, and these obviously don't apply to maybe the sports markets or family reunions, but it's definitely something to keep in mind if you are maybe a t-shirt designer or graphic designer. Yeah, absolutely. So we're seeing a lot of that minimalist text. Of course, that seems to trend really well for screen print and transfers because it's more of that fine detail. If you have mm -hmm. um, more of the larger quantity orders, I see that there. Some of it's a little bit yeah. more difficult for vinyl cutting. Um, unless you tend to have, which we're going to start showing a lot more on Stealth TV, um, a laser cutter, which allows you to kind mm -hmm. of uh, create really, really fine text in a no weeding type way. So um, different ways you can use that laser technology. And we've shared a few videos already on Stalls TV on how to use laser cutting for um, with heat transfer vinyl for really fine detail. Yeah, so what are the ways that you would suggest that Stalls TV viewers keep up on these trends in 2017? You know, really there's a lot of different ways. So um, one of the ways I could see is obviously staying a part of Stalls TV, yes. uh, following the morning show, the blog, all of that there. But really, you know, some of the different retail trends that I see, I know we go into stores and we constantly pick up on colors that we see are popular, styles of shirts that we see are popular. Maybe they have fringe, maybe they have a certain mm -hmm. cut. Um, look at the text on graphic shirts. I always tend to go towards retail leaders, people like um, Victoria's Secret, Justice, some of those, mm -hmm. um, Nike, some of those big companies that really are on the forefront and leading the retail industry on what's trending. And that comes quickly into the wholesale market today. Yeah, it comes quickly for a lot of reasons. And I think the main one is social media. So living in this fast paced, quick society that we're in right now, we can see something on Instagram and with our heat press that same day, you know, vinyl cut it and create it. It takes a little bit longer to um, get that trend out there, maybe a month or two. But the ability to see these trends and then recreate them is just becoming faster and faster as we move, move on in the ages. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And so those are some great ways to look for trends. Of course, Printwear Magazine, Impressions mm -hmm. Magazine, um, Team Insight Magazine, wearables, all of those constantly share trends as well from the decorated apparel standpoint. So they're good to subscribe to. And even if it's just the email newsletter staying on top of what they're sharing as well. Yeah, so and next week you'll be able to join us again for the um, garments for 2017, um, blank apparel and everything. But before we leave today, uh, we wanna see if we have any questions coming in from the viewers. So looks like I have a couple on Facebook. I'm gonna go ahead and take um, 
One was just to you sell your patterns to SVG files. Lucy, unfortunately, no, um, we don't currently sell the patterns in SVG files for cutting. Um, we just do them as the printed version for you to be able to um, get ordered from the designer there. Uh, there was another one regarding patterns. Uh, Margie asked, what was the name of the special heat transfer sheet that you've used in the video? Um, in the video, that was actually just CAD Cut Fashion Film. So mm -hmm. the CAD Cut Fashion Film worked really well in those faux leather sandals. Um, you can order that directly with stalls. I and love Fashion Film because you can do uh, high T-Dell designs and those monograms. Um, since they're low quantity, everybody's name's obviously unique and different. You can cut those pretty easy. Absolutely. Too. And then we use that flexible application pad to cover that. Um, if you haven't seen the flexible application pad, it works really well for protecting heat sensitive items, maybe plastic buttons or a plastic zipper along with those faux leather mm -hmm. um, sandals. So another great tool there. Yeah. Um, I think that's all the questions I've gotten in so far on Facebook and nothing on GoToMeeting. So We'll get ready to kind of leave you guys for today. We appreciate you joining us. Um, next Monday, it'll be me along with Jenna sharing some of those blank garment trends we have coming in from blank apparel suppliers all over um, the industry. So we're excited to show those to you guys as well. All right. Thanks for watching.